dear students in this uh, lecture we are going to see the go back n protocol in flow control mechanism of a computer network systems in this lecture series we have uh, seen already the simple protocol and uh, stop and wait protocol in simple protocol uh, it tells uh, how the packet is actually transmitted from the sender to the receiver but it doesn't worry about what is the flow how the uh, how well that receiver is receiving all the packets effectively it just tells the transmission and stop and wait protocol it controls the first mechanism of uh, flow control because if the receiver capacity is less than the sender capacity it cannot accept all the packet transmitted from the sender so receiver can acknowledge for the received data and until and unless the acknowledgement of the received packet uh, is uh, done from the receiver side the sender will not proceed with the next data the next packet so in this case uh, it means in stop and wait protocol actually the mechanism processing one packet in a given time and waiting for the acknowledgement and then only it proceeding with the next packet so window size is one and the efficiency is less because in a given time it processing a less number of packets so to increase the efficiency we have uh, actually seen another uh, pipelining concept in pipelining concept rather sending uh, only one packet at a time uh, and waiting for the acknowledgement of the sent data for example first one is sent and rather waiting for uh, the acknowledgement of the sent data it subsequently sends uh, another uh, packets also and it is maintaining a slider the window is actually slider it is uh, the four packet in a sliding window means so once the packet uh, zero is sent the window is actually sliding to next uh, uh, subsequent data and in stop and wait protocol uh, we haven't uh, spoken about what should be the size of the window in the center and what should be the size of the window in the receiver so in go back n protocol and selective repeat protocol uh, we will look into the size of the window sender window size and receiver window size and how the flow is actually controlled and followed up the mechanism so this diagram is showing the window size of uh, go back n protocol mechanism see the go back n in the number n itself is says the go back n the number n is saying the number of packets processed transmitted in a time given time for example go back eight means eight outstanding packets are actually processed in a time go back four means four packets are processed in a given time here outstanding packet we have are four this mechanism is mostly implemented in transport layer here few points we need to consider when we study about the go back n protocol so sender window size is greater than 1 if it is equivalent to 1 then it resembles it uh, similar to a stop and wait protocol so it should not be equivalent to 1 it should always be e greater than 1 so the window size is more than the stop and wait protocol mechanism and receiver window size is actually 1 Win receiver window size is 1 and sequence number what is the impact of sequence number 2 avoid duplicate number received at the receiver side so what is the uh, advantage of this sequence number and what should be the size of this sequence number to avoid duplicate number uh, data received that we will see at the end of the lecture and the acknowledgement uh, in this go back n protocol is cumulative acknowledgement what is this cumulative acknowledge, uh, acknowledgement here see in case if we send the uh, packet uh, uh, to uh, in the sequence order and the acknowledgement for the individual packets are uh, done from the receiver side that is individual but the acknowledgement for a group of uh, packets are uh, done performed from the receiver that is actually called cumulative acknowledgement in go back n protocol mechanism we have cumulative acknowledgement and in the maximum and here it says the size of the window is 2 to the power m minus 1 the active window is uh, the outstanding window is 4 so 2 to the power 4 minus 1 7 the window size is 1 that window size is actually uh, the first outstanding uh, addition of outstanding window and next to send the group of sequence this sequence numbers total window size is sf plus sn that is actually 7 so we have seen in uh, sliding window protocol the pipelining mechanism 
the size of the window here is actually 7 but outstanding packet we are considering here are 4 which means after the packet 0 is sent the window actually sliding like this the next 4 when uh, the one is actually transmitted the copy is kept until the acknowledgement received but it is sliding to next 4 packet and when 2 is transmitted the copy is kept until the acknowledgement is received but it is sliding the pipelining concept the sliding window is actually moving to the subsequent data so as i already told you the acknowledgement here is uh, cumulative for example if the here we have uh, taken the outstanding window or uh, 0 1 2 3 and the window size at the receiver is 1 so it is sequentially accepting all the data received from the sender one by one so when 0 is transmitted 0 is placed here the packet 0 is placed here and when 1 is transmitted 1 is placed here for example if the packet 2 is corrupted lost uh, while uh, transmitting the data on the way during the transmission through the channel and though the packet 3 is uh, received properly without any losses and receiver will not receive packet 3 and discard subsequent data and because of a corrupted packet it will not acknowledge the sender for this packet and the sender will get to know there is an issue so it retransmits all group outstanding packets here because it is cumulative acknowledgement after all data are received properly at the receiver side acknowledgement is done from the receiver at a time unlike the individual acknowledgement which which is actually reducing the traffic but the problem here is because as we discussed before in case if any single packet or a group a set of packets corrupted an outstanding window during transmission and otherwise if the acknowledgement is lost even after receiving all the packets properly at the receiver side and a single the acknowledgement corrupted from the receiver side the transmitter has to retransmit all data once again so it leads to relates reliability and another point i told you we have to consider the sequence number what is sequence number we generally use sequence number to avoid duplication see let's say if uh, here the outstanding window uh, is actually 0 1 2 3 and initially we are sending the packet 0 and uh, if uh, it is receiving 0 next in the sequence it is receiving packet 2 and 3 as per the order here right let's say that uh, all four packets are received properly right because here window size is in generally in sliding window concept we have seen the size of the sequence number is equivalent to sender window size here the outstanding window size is 4 in, and in case if we have the sequence number is 4 the receiver is expecting 4 packet in a sequence and when the packet all four packets are received properly but the acknowledgement is lost acknowledgement is lost from the receiver for the received packets the transmitter will understand as uh, there is an error because of uh, the acknowledgement not received it will retransmit all the data from 0 to 3 the, from 0 1 to 3 all packets so at the time the receiver has to place already received data once again that is duplicate data so how to overcome this issue so rather having the equivalent to view sender window size if the sequence number is the addition of sender window size plus the receiver window size that is in this case the outstanding window is 4 and uh, the window size in the receiver is actually 1 so if we have rather having the window size, sequence number 4 if we have the sequence number 5 if the receiver is actually expecting 5 packets in a sequence so when we sending the packet 0 1 2 3 and it is transmitted and received properly at the receiver side and that is 0 1 2 
three are placed here and if there is an issue in the acknowledgement uh, from say, receiver to the sender and even after retransmitting the data from the sender once again in the because the receiver sequence is actually five when zero is transmitted this will discard zero because zero is already received and when one is transmitted once again because here window size active window here is four and when one is transmitted and this will discard one and two discarded and three discarded so which means the transmitter will understand all zero packets are received properly there is an issue in the acknowledgement then it will proceed with fourth packet fifth packet sixth packet and seventh packet so here fourth packet is actually placed then the subsequent numbers are followed further as slider moving um, in the pipelining concept so by this way we can avoid duplication in the received data so this is the concept of uh, go back en protocol so we need to consider all these points the sender size is always greater than one and the receiver size in the go back n protocol is equivalent to one and sequence number is followed in this way there is addition of sender window size and the receiver window size to avoid duplicate number and uh, cumulative acknowledgement may be uh, effective in traffic but uh, it is not reliable because of single corruption in a data lead to retransmission of a group of packets and in the next lecture we will see the next protocol that is selective repeat protocol thank you